Well, we've certainly got a big productivity problem in this country. Mind you, that's, I think, largely driven by unrestricted immigration. You know, we've added six and a half million people to our population in the last 20 years. So all those low-paid jobs uh, that um, uh, are being uh, performed now by, by immigrants might otherwise have been performed by our own British people. There are 5.6 million people in this country not in employment, education or training and not seeking work either, living on benefits or their own private means. Um, you know, this is a society which is in terminal decline in many, many ways with those attitudes. You know, I think we on this panel and indeed yourself, Mark, are an inspiration to the country because here we are nearly 10 o'clock on a Friday evening and we're all still working. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, more people need to follow our example, I think. Yes, I wonder whether, whether this is generational, Ashleen, because uh, Twitter uh, and, and Elon Musk, who's just taken over, has fired half the staff and no one's noticed. It would seem they didn't do much. Um, yeah, I agree. But I think it's interesting that Mark Zuckerberg made 11,000 uh, uh, redundant at Meta at the same time. Mm. And no one's making as much of a fuss about yeah. it because it's him. I think Elon Musk is just an easy target because he's the richest man and has his own opinions. Um, you know, and I do think I do think that um, being on benefits, I've been on benefits and it was a terrible place for me to be. And I went out and I started working as soon as I could. I think benefits are brilliant for people that really need them. But if I'm honest, I think that people use them as a crutch now and uh, are just too lazy to go to work because we make it too easy for them to be on benefits and have all their bills paid. But that's a terrible thing to say because it's just basically wrong. Um, <laughs> that, well, it is. I mean, it really I don't think is. So. And I, I don't think, it's, think a, so. it's a terrible insult to say to people. No, who some people, are, well, not, not all, some people, some people do use it as a crutch. And so, and how are you go going to determine go who those some people are? But I think they should determine it themselves. I think they should stand well, up and say, you know what, I can go to work if they can. Well, and that's well, exactly why. Um, Jeremy Hunt in his, uh, his budget said, right, 600,000 people are going to have to go, sorry, 600,000 people are going to have to go. I'm again. sorry, I'm touching your <laughs> box again. I shouldn't be doing this. Stop it. Fun. Right. <laughs> We've okay. got it all on video. Yeah, OK. <laughs> all right. But look, 600,000 people are going to have to go to, to job coaches. You know, one in five people in this country are inactive. Um, you know, for jobs. And that's really scary. We've got the lowest level of uh, unemployment, which is about 3.6% we've ever had. When Neil and I were employment, there was over a million people who are unemployed. And this is one of the, sorry, uh, this is one of the difficulties that we've got at the moment. And for Neil to say, oh, well, we don't need the immigrant workers. Well, we actually do, because who's going to pick the potatoes? But that's who's what I'm saying. People oh. should go and do picking the potatoes and no, not but, be on the benefits. they're not going to be doing it. <laughs> but who's they gonna, should. We're 50,000 nurses that I didn't short. Do. We're 50,000 yeah. nurses. Short. We're doctor short. Why can't we're short we? I done, I done jobs that I really didn't want to do. I cleaned toilets. I did. I did everything. Yeah. I really didn't want to do, but I wanted nurses to pay my and own doctors? way in, in what's society. So, what's so terrible about those nurses and doctors? But I mean, there are two. Over.